Meanwhile, Dallas police are facing questions over the way that they took out the suspect in Thursday's ambush. Police sent a robot armed with explosives to kill the gunman. Here in Maryland, officers are training with a robot similar to the one used in Dallas. Hours after Micah Johnson opened fire in downtown Dallas, he was cornered by police. He told negotiators there were bombs around the city and he threatened to kill more officers. The Dallas mayor says there were no other options than to send in a robot strapped with the explosive C4. We asked him, uh, do you want to come out safely? Or do you want to stay there and uh, we're going to take you down and he chose the latter. Last June, Dallas police used a similar bomb disposal robot to detonate pipe bombs inside a suspect's van. Models like it can use explosives, a water cannon or high powered air to disrupt suspicious devices. Montgomery County, Maryland Fire and Rescue Department operates one of several bomb squads in the Washington, D.C. region. Chief Scott Goldstein. It can be repaired. It can be replaced. Can't replace a, a, a highly trained and experienced, you know, member of the squad. But critics say robots like these were designed for military combat. It raises a lot of concern about the increased weaponization of robots that the police use. Peter Asaro is with the International Committee for Robot Arms Control. Once I think police departments have these kinds of weapons in their arsenal, uh, it provides an opportunity to use it in a lot of different kinds of scenarios. I thought it was ingenious. 54-year veteran police chief Dan Montgomery compares the Dallas Police Department's use of the robot to a high-tech version of sniper fire. If you've got a robot that has C4 explosives, someone's got to detonate that. So it's the same as pulling a trigger. Each robot costs about $60,000.